The Mandalorian may be charging forward with the Star Wars franchise right now, but as the latest episode hinted, another series and a new story may be on the way soon, and that might be the Star Wars Rebels sequel series. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Star Wars Now. Chapter 13, The Jedi of the Mandalorian gave us our first live action look at Ahsoka Tano. And while that was fantastic in its own right, her mission and adventure in the episode was also revealed to us, something that links back to Star Wars Rebels. We're going to be discussing the current state of the Rebels sequel series and how it potentially ties into the Mandalorian and other Star Wars content. Make sure to keep up to date with the latest Star Wars Universe developments by hitting the subscribe button to never miss a video. You're on social media and so are we, so use the links in the video description below to follow us for the latest news, lore and more. As a heads up, spoilers will be present in this video, so you have been warned. In case you don't know what Star Wars Rebels is, then you should really go and watch it, but don't worry, we'll give you a quick heads up, but spoiler alert. Rebels was an animated TV show set between Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and Episode 4, A New Hope, following the adventures of a small group of Rebels which would become a bigger part of the Rebellion, aka the Alliance to Restore the Republic. The series follows a motley group of Rebels who live aboard the Starship Ghost, as they fight against the evil Galactic Empire. The Rebels include Ezra Bridger, a young orphan from Lafal who learns he can use the Force, Kanan Jarrus, a Jedi Knight who survived Order 66, Hera Syndulla, a Twi'lek pilot and veteran resistance fighter, Sabine Wren, a Mandalorian explosives expert, Gara Zeb, Zeb Aurelios, a Lasat warrior, and the Cunningus Astromech droid C-110P, also known as Chopper. The crew eventually helped give rise to the Rebel Alliance. While the series would incorporate characters from all over the Star Wars universe, including Grand Admiral Thrawn from Star Wars Legends, it would end with a fourth season on a sort of cliffhanger ending, leaving many fans like myself and the team here at Star Wars now wanting a new adventure with our beloved characters. Season 4 ended with the main character, Ezra Bridger and the main villain, Grand Admiral Thrawn, trapped together on the bridge of Thrawn's ISD, the Chimera, as his fleet was pulled into hyperspace by a species called the Pergil. It's up to all of you now. And remember, the Force will be with you, always. Ezra sacrificed himself so that the planet of Lothal, his home, will be free from Imperial rule. The fleet jumped to light speed via the Purgles, where Ezra and Fawn were never heard from again. Years later, Ahsoka Tana would return to a liberated Lothal after the Battle of Endor and the fall of the Galactic Empire to collect Sabine Wren. The two would then begin their quest to search for Ezra and bring him home. The series ended, but it was clear that fans wanted more of Star Wars Rebels, and everyone wanted the answers to where Ezra and Grand Admiral Thrawn had ended up, considering they are not mentioned in anything else. Well, as Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian, we may have got further hints to where this story continuation is going. During Ahsoka Tana's duel with a magistrate on the planet of Corvus, Ahsoka disarms the magistrate and asks her where her master was, Grand Admiral Thrawn. This event takes place in 9 ABY, where Tana has already begun searching for Thrawn. It's also worth noting that the magistrate's HK-87 security droids are marked with a symbol of the 7th Fleet, which was commanded by Grand Admiral Thrawn. Given Ahsoka Tana is searching for Thrawn, it's obvious that she is also searching for Ezra Bridger, or answers to what has happened to him after all these years. It's been almost 10 years since Ezra and Fawn went missing, and while it's clear Fawn may be back in action, Ezra might have gone down a different path. We'll be talking more about the plotlines of the Mandalorian and how Fawn ties into everything, but for now, let's check on the status of the Star Wars Rebels sequel series. In the last two years, there have been multiple rumours about a sequel series to Star Wars Rebels, one that would be set after Return of a Jedi and likely follow Ahsoka Tano and Sabine Wren as they journey to locate Ezra Bridger to fulfil their mission of bringing him home to Lothal. While nothing has been confirmed, there have been multiple rumours and comments from certain people. Series showrunner Dave Filoni commented all the way back in May 2020 during the interview with Deadline that he could see potential for stories that involve the characters and Rebels. While this does not confirm 100% that the sequel series is in development by Lucasfilm and Disney, it does add some weight to the rumour. Moving forward, other news outlets and online personalities have mentioned that a Star Wars Rebels sequel series is taking place. Corey Van Dyke of the YouTube channel Kessel Run Transmissions has mentioned back in October 2020 that they know for certain that a Rebel sequel was still in development, and at the time, the current status was that its first season was likely done. The aimed release date is speculated to be summer 2021. 
following the newly confirmed Star Wars The Bad Batch series, which is also speculated to air in March-April 2021. Now there are no 100% concrete sources to Koi and Castle Run transmission reports, and while they have been right on certain topics before, it is worth taking everything said with a pinch of salt until it's properly confirmed by Lucasfilm or Disney. Though it is sounding like as soon as The Mandalorian Season 2 is finished, we might be getting a brand new wave of Star Wars animated shows for our enjoyment. Other outlets such as LRM Online have doubted Castle Run Transmission's idea of a Rebel sequel series. Apparently, this is also unconfirmed FYI, their source at Lucasfilm doubted the possibility of a Star Wars Rebel sequel series due to the fact that the characters of Sabine Wren, Ezra Bridger, Ahsoka Tano, and Grand Admiral Thrawn are all now in live action. Therefore, it would be highly unlikely that a Rebel sequel would happen in animation. Now, Kessel Run Transmissions did double down after the LRM article back in August 2020, but as of this video, there is still no confirmation on the Rebels sequel front. Though thinking about the comments here, with live action characters, in a way it does link back to Dave Filoni's own comment in the Deadline interview. Filoni said, and I quote, I think there's always potential for stories that involve characters from Rebels, which is maybe a better way to put it. They've all earned their place in the galaxy, so to speak, so I'm sure there's some more of them to do. Now Ahsoka Tano has appeared in live action, with Rosario Dawson playing her. Grand Admiral Thrawn has also been mentioned, and it might be possible for him to appear as well. The Star Wars Rebel sequel series does not 100% need to be animated, and instead could be told through live action storytelling. The Mandalorian has given Lucasfilm and Disney a strong standing for live action Star Wars story developments. Therefore, it's likely they'll want to continue this trend. An Obi-Wan Kenobi series is underway, and so is a Cassian Andor series, with many others like a Boba Fett series also rumoured to be in development. The Rebel sequel we all want could be live action based. I leave a question to you. Would you be happy with this, or would you prefer it animated? Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian has reunited faith in the idea of a Star Wars Rebel sequel series. Ahsoka Tano is clearly on the hunt for Thrawn, which connects with the ending of Rebel Season 4. Whether Lucasfilm wants to tell the story in animation or live action remains to be seen. Hopefully an announcement will be made in the future. We'll be discussing the Grand Admiral Thrawn story development in a future video here on Star Wars Now, so stay tuned for that. Once again, we welcome your comments and thoughts on the idea of a live-action Star Wars Rebels sequel, or an animated one. Let us know in the comments section below. That wraps up our video on the Star Wars Rebels sequel series developments for today. Yes, we would love to see the story of Ezra Bridger continue, and it's clear that there is space for it in the Star Wars universe right now. So let's hold on to our hope that we'll see it soon. Make sure to keep up to date with the latest Star Wars universe developments by hitting the subscribe button to never miss a video. You're on social media and so are we. So use the links in the video description below to follow us for the latest news, lore, and more. For now, I've been Captain Jack here on Stars Now. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.